In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a powdered sugar varroa mite treatment. You use about half a cup to a cup of sugar. It depends on how many bees there are, how many supers in the hive there are. It looks like this top super doesn't have a ton of bees on it. I'll just dust the tops of the frames on this one. This one's mainly sugar water and honey. Usually the Varroa mites are around the brood area. The young Varroa mites live on the bee brood. So the, the adult Varroa mites, they go into the, into the brood larva and they lay their eggs on the larva when they're, before they pupate. And then the Varroa mites complete their development cycle as the bees are developing in the cells. And then when the bees hatch out, the varroa mites attach themselves to the bees, suck their body fluids out, and eventually kill them. It creates a lot of weak bees. Uh, especially this time of year, the varroa mites can really start multiplying. So it's a good time of year to do some varroa mite control. I will be doing oxalic acid treatment starting next week where I'll be vaporizing them with oxalic acid but I do want to try this powdered sugar method and see how well it works and on this hive I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this powdered sugar and dust all the bees as much as possible and this will get get them cleaning each other and It'll knock the mites off. So with this method, I've had some people say it doesn't work. Well, it's not a method that you want to rely on 100% because it's shown to eliminate about 30% of mites, which isn't enough. You want to get rid of as close to 100% as possible. It is a significant number. And if you did this on a weekly basis, it would eliminate quite a few. Does it work 100%? No, but it does work enough to make a difference. And with this treatment, you want to make sure you use a screen bottom board because the idea is that the mites have a hard time sticking to the bees. The sugar, the powdered sugar gets in their feet and they can't cling on to the bees as well. And it also encourages the bees to groom each other because they're going to be grooming each other to get all this powdered sugar off of them. And when they do that, they knock the mites off. You should probably do this with a smoker. I'm getting stung over here. While this will get rid of the mites on the bees, any of those mites that are inside of the cells won't get hit. Add some more powdered sugar. First gonna kind of give them a sprinkle on top. But then I'll uh, start dusting these individual frames in this box as well. The problem with this particular method is it is quite time consuming. You have to take out every single frame and dust the bees with powder quite a bit of time. The nice thing is you can kind of inspect the hive as you're doing that, make sure everything is going well. I really haven't seen many, or I haven't seen any Varroa mites this year, so I think the population is not very high, at least. I need to do a powdered sugar roll and, and do a count. <laughs> 